online to take over. Uh, tonight, Jay Dow spoke with him one-on-one -on -one with an extended interview to see what he thinks comes next. Jay joining us here in studio to break it all down. I know he's spoken before, but this is the longest that he's spoken and well in depth. That's right, Kendis. And we spoke with him for about 32 minutes covering a variety of issues from his own politics and, of course, the fate of Mayor Eric Adams. Our Sunday afternoon sit-down discussion with New York City public advocate Jamani Williams, originally scheduled to take place outdoors, moved at the last minute, thanks to a steady rain, to a bustling coffee shop in Manhattan. We didn't waste any time. Our goal, to reacquaint our viewers with the elected official who is next in line to be mayor, in the event Mayor Eric Adams should resign in the face of federal bribery and corruption charges, or be removed from office by New York Governor Kathy Hochul. So let's get right to it. You've called the charges against Mayor Adams egregious. You've questioned whether or not he can restore the public trust and whether or not he can do the job while he's fighting these charges. So. Let me ask you first off, do you think it's appropriate, given the few days that you've had for, to digest this, for the mayor to resign or to continue to serve the city while he fights these charges? Well, I think first off, this is a painful time for the city. because There's no way around that. Do you think that he has the wherewithal and the ability to serve this city, given how many balls are in the air on an ordinary day and running the city? I'm also a set, uh, in line of succession, and so I, I like to try to be depending where I am, really responsible in how I'm having these conversations. But at some point, you have to worry about how long autopilot lasts without a main pilot. And so that's the big concern. We covered several other issues during our wide-ranging, in-depth discussion, but ended on the topic that brought us here, Mayor Eric Adams. Do you think that the crisis that he is in right now, the charges that he faces right now, are going to overshadow the accomplishments that have been made in this city over the last few years. This is this is what really concerns me because the, the fact of the matter is, if you are an elected leader and you're black, if you're an elected leader and you're a woman, anything that you know people view as not the norm, I believe you will be treated differently and you'll be looked at differently. That's not different from Mayor Adams. Uh oh. So he he right there he says he thinks black people are treated differently even when they're the man. That right there is troubling, man. Like, he's coming into this with that thought that, you know, black people are being treated differently. Even though the mayor's black and he's about to be the man. And two things can be true at the same time. That can be true and we may have done some things that I believe weren't the right ways to go. And this is even before the indictment in policy changes. And so both, both of those things can be true at the same time. And what... So you could have done some things that you shouldn't have done that caused you to, you know, not be mayor, but you're still also being treated differently because you're black. Man, it sucks to be black, man. <laughs> Fuck. angers me a lot is that I think the next generation of leaders, particularly black and brown leaders, might have to pay for what's happening now. Do you think race is playing a factor in the case wow, against the mayor? The next fucking Hispanic fucking city councilman in 2050 is going to have to pay for what Eric Adams did, man. Black and brown leaders got to pay for this, man, in the future, man. What Eric Adams just did, man. That's crazy, man. Like, this is the... All this, it should be seen as crazy talk. Press one. This should all be seen as like just insanity and madness. He should be like, he should be disqualified for saying these things. These, these things he's saying are insane. Black people treat it differently. Even if they do something wrong, they're still treated differently. In the future, Black and brown people will have to pay because Eric Adams messed up and did some crooked stuff while he was the mayor. Are you serious? Are you serious? I think Eric Adams is the first black crooked mayor. He's a yeah, we haven't seen this before. That's true. We haven't seen this before. 
out of black men. Black men is usually on the up and up, so yeah. Generation of leaders, particularly black and brown leaders, might have to pay for what's happening now. Do you think race is playing a factor in the case against them now? Against in, their the, right now? in the case itself, it's, it's hard to say that because of Damien Williams and how he identifies. Um, right, because he's black? Yes. Um, but also... Wow. The think Oscar. about that. Yeah. He was asked, is race playing in part in the Eric Adams charges? He says, hard to say because of how the prosecutor identifies as black. So everything's about race. So if the prosecutor's black, you know, I guess the charges are um, legit. But the prosecutor was white, then yeah, it would be racist. <laughs> Yo, this is insane. Am I the they only circle, one who fucking sees this, man? They circle the wagons for their black mayors. This is fucking insane, man. This is crazy talk. What? The fit up am I are we listening to this guy's gonna be the mayor? He thinks that you know black people getting it short, short into the stick all the time, and even in the future, black people want to pay for what Adams did. You know, people gonna, well, in the future, you know, black politicians gonna have to pay, he's gonna be looked at like you know, with a side eye because of what Eric Adams did, you know, because. And black, you know, black, like the prosecutor's black. The, everybody up there is black. Every, did you see his whole cabinet? Adams, his whole cabinet was black. This is a, what is it? you're black. The DOJ went after President Biden's son. And so they have done some things that counter what the mayor is saying. And I really hope that he thinks about the comments he's making and who they sound like and the, the effect it might have on a broader conversation. In closing, let's talk about history. This is a historic time for the city. How do you think people are going to... What's historic about this time? Uh, it's collapsing from the weight of immigrants, maybe? view what's happening in the city right now through the lens of politics and race? That's a very good question. And I, I hope as a mayor... As that was a very good question. This is two sons Thank sitting you. together it, looking, at a, looking at a son mayor who's being investigated by a son prosecutor and they're trying to find some way to claim it's a racist angle. You know, that somehow it's harder for them. Oh, it's a head scratcher. Uh, whether or not he can put forth a plan to show that he can govern the city still with the weight of this, he can help rebuild trust that's been eroded, which is separate from the fight that he should have for his innocence. Um, I'm hoping he's asking himself those questions as well because they're very important questions. That piece. You need was a fucking annoying issue. Yeah. When I say annoying, I mean y'all are fucking annoying. It's no fucking like you, you can never just like just be normal. Just be normal. Let's see who this Negro is, man. Um who's this Negro? What is he? Oh, everything's from five years ago. Everything's from five years ago. Um, <laughs> protesting and shit. <laughs> um, salute to um Richard Ramirez, man. Shout out to the brown, black and brown community for this donation, man. Coach looks soft as f. <laughs> he getting paid to promote deep. Descent in America. Did that motherfucker know Senegal probably sold his answer? Do he know that in Senegal they got fucking slaves right now working on cocoa plants and shit? 
I mean, in cocoa fields and shit. Yeah, man, this nigga's. Then they went over to Senegal and shit, and didn't even learn about that. That slavery is is it's the must the mecca of slavery. My name is Nalini, and I'm with the Working Families Party, and we are proud to endorse, and I am proud to introduce the next public advocate of the city of New York, the People's Advocate, Jumani T. Williams. <laughs> People like me are not supposed to run for office. I am oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because this is 1860. Jesus Christ. You got Nick down the back. People like me are not supposed to run for office. This is about to be the mayor of New York City. This is a clown show, man. He's an underdog. Yeah, that's wait, this way a rapper too. Jumani. What he is. What's his name? J J Jumani. 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 Yeah. Okay. I thought it was two U's, it's two A's. Yeah. People like me are not supposed to run for office. I am a first generation American with Tourette syndrome and ADHD who wears earrings from Brooklyn. He's got Tourette syndrome <laughs> and ADHD. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's worse than being black, man. Yep. <laughs> he said, People like me are not supposed to run for office. If, he, if this nigga said, if he mentions black, then you know this nigga has like a 70 IQ because. He's he's literally the predecessor of a black man. This is five years ago. This one he oh, okay. Wait, how, his, how long has he been a um? Was he? Advocate. Yeah. Since this since this time, this is when he was running five years ago. Brooklyn and loves hip hop. When I was asked to run for public advocate, I thought about a night not too long ago. A young man came up to me and he said he had Tourette syndrome just like me. He said that he always wanted to enter politics. But he thought he couldn't. And he sees me up there. And it gives him hope. This thing is a tether. He a first generation American fucking tether with Tourette syndrome and hey, fucking hey. ADHD. Well, all blacks got ADHD though. So that I knew no matter how steep the hill was, that I had to keep going up. I had to keep going up the hill for equity. I had to keep going up the hill for justice. I had to keep going up the hill for all of us. I had to keep going up the hill. That dude playing basketball, man. I take him, man. I know I can take him, man. I dunk on him. All of us. I have to keep going up the hill for him. The biggest complaint I used to get as a council member is that I was too much of an activist. And I said, that is the only way that things get done in this country. Now we've got some big hills in New York City to run up, but the people in NYC are strong. We are the patriots. We are the ones that make America great. We are the ones that make America live up to its true ideals. We all know that the only option is to keep going up until we reach the top. And the people who say that it cannot be done, please move out of the way of the people who are doing it. My check. My check. My check. I see the hill. I see the hill. I see the hill. And I know it's steep. And I know it's steep. But I will. But I will. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Until I reach the top. Until I reach the top. Yeah, you about to reach the top. He about to be the man. Not one glider in that whole crowd, man. This nigga, yeah. this nigga manifested being the mayor. God dang. Ain't that a bitch? Wow, Jumani, man. Um yo, if your if your mayor name is is Jumani, deep that's shit. how you know you fucked up, dog. Yeah, you you can you can just you might as well just prepare for a scandal. Like, like, I have to give him six months before he, he's embroiled yeah. in scandals. It's, it's going to be some sort of embezzlement. If it ain't going to be embezzlement, it's going to be some 
something. Some Sorry, woman man. he might even Oh yeah, he probably gonna be fucking one of his um <laughs> one of his uh 